this is Linda with Traveling Flamingo, and today I'm going to tell you which character dining you have to eat at. We really enjoy meeting the characters, and last year we got to go with our niece for her first visit to Disney. She still talks about Mickey, meeting Mickey and how he gave her a hug. Now I know Disney can be expensive, and the last thing you want to do is spend your valuable time waiting in line to meet characters. The character dining opportunities give you the ability to meet many of the characters you want in the air conditioning while you eat your meal. Yes, there is a cost for character dining. However, most expect, accept the Disney dining plan if you opt for that. Given the benefits of seeing multiple characters at once while having a meal makes it a huge time saver and my favorite way to meet characters. So the question is, if you're only doing one character dining, which one do you have to do? They have them at almost all the resorts and parks and you will see different characters depending on the theme. First, let's talk about the two runners up. Our first runner up is fairy tale dining at Cinderella's Royal Table right in the Magic Kingdom. The location of this one is the best as it is in the iconic Cinderella's Castle. However, why it didn't make our number one is because it is expensive and the food isn't really all that good. For us, the fixed menu isn't worth the price. I do remember my first time going and getting to meet the different princesses and having a conversation with them. So if your little one is all about the princesses, this may be the one pick for you. However, be warned, the food is average at best. Our next and last runner-up is also in the Magic Kingdom, and it's a buffet with character in the Crystal Palace. This is a Winnie the Pooh dining event, and you can expect to see Pooh and his pals for a fun meal. This is a fairly good meal and is located right in the Magic Kingdom, so it's easy to get to and from quickly. Winnie the Pooh isn't everyone's cup of tea, and you won't get to see any other characters here beyond Winnie the Pooh and his pals from the Hundred Acre Woods. If Pooh is your family's favorite character, then book this right now. On the other hand, if it's not, there are other options that may be more appealing. For us, the only character dining you need to do is Chef Mickey's at the Contemporary Resort. Chef Mickey's Fun Time Buffet is available for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I love that you can meet the Fab Five, Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Donald, and Goofy. The characters will move around the table and give you lots of time to meet each one for a hug and a picture. They have a plan that you can meet all the characters within an hour and have all the time to get all the food you care to enjoy. Chef Mickey's can be very busy, so be prepared to make your advanced dining reservation as soon as you can, up to 180 days prior to your visit. Beyond the characters, the food selection is pretty well on par with what you would expect at a buffet at Disney. I really enjoy all the fresh fruit and desserts. I have the sweet tooth in this family. At breakfast and brunch, you can expect Mickey waffles, carved ham, scrambled eggs, various cereals, sausage and bacon, smoked salmon, potato hash, and much more, including a nice dessert selection. At dinner, they offer a seasonal salad selection, prime rib, roast chicken, salmon, macaroni and cheese, chicken nuggets, and more. The restaurant itself is themed with the various pop art inspired murals and paintings of the Fab Five which creates a modern feel. Instead of having one or two large dining areas, there's a few smaller ones which doesn't make it feel as busy. The Contemporary Hotel is a unique building as it is an open air nine story design, so you can expect there to be quite a bit of noise. One of the great features is that you get to see the monorail whiz by as it ferries passengers to the Magic Kingdom. Overall, Mickey's Fun Time Buffet provides a great mix of character engagement along with a decent meal located within walking distance of the Magic Kingdom. This makes it very easy to get to and from. Another reason we chose Chef Mickey's is the cost. Generally speaking, lunch and dinner is more expensive than breakfast, so we recommend going here for breakfast and starting your day off right. Cinderella's Royal Table is the most expensive, at about $65 for adults and $40 for children. Crystal Palace's price is about $34 for adults and $25 for children. Lastly, Chef Mickey's will cost $42 for adults and $25 for children, putting it right in between the two. You can expect these buffets to cost one Disney dining plan credit for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. However, Cinderella's Royal Table will cost two credits. Kids from 3 to 9 are classified as children. Everyone else is an adult, unfortunately. That's why for us, the only character dining experience you need to book is Chef Mickey's Fun Time Buffet in the Contemporary Resort. Do you agree? Disagree? Want to see some more Frozen in this list? Let us know in the comments and we hope that you subscribe.
We look forward to hearing from you.